Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started with a actual factory setup. Um, I spent some time off camera on my old save looking around some more, and I think what I want to do is I if, if I head directly south from here and go along the the you know, if you kind of cross over here and go along the coast, the west coast, it is just absolutely gorgeous in that area. And there's also um, like two or three pure iron nodes and one pure copper node right about in this area. And um, I think that's where I want to actually do our water base, um, you know, build out over the water as opposed to doing it off the shore of the rocky desert instead. Um, so, but I think what we'll do is we'll wait until we get to coal before we do that. And then we'll move, you know, we'll just, we'll have our, our first initial factory, you know, biofuel powered factory over here and get all the stuff that we need to make the space elevator and get to uh, coal power. And then once we hit coal, then I think we'll make the, the big move down the coast there. And it's just absolutely, if you guys have never seen that area, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that being the case, we are going to go ahead and just stick around here in the rocky desert for now. But what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to set up our factory kind of over in this area because then we can, um, you know, they were just a little bit closer to the, you know, going down the coast here and can, you know, feed stuff from our first factory down to the new area um, as needed. Uh, so I think that's the plan stand. So basically this area here is where we're going to, to build. And then we have all of our, uh, you know, our resources just to the north of us there. All right. So that being the case, uh, the first thing we want to get going then is get started with um, uh, building some platforms. Because once we start building on foundations, then we have a grid that we can snap to and start making things nice and neat. Um, also, I think we have everything we need to go to the next level here, too. Um, well, not currently in my inventory, but with uh, what we've been manufacturing. Let's uh, let's double check that. I'm pretty sure we do, and then and probably then some. Oh, yeah, look at all the screws we have in here. Okay, so we got the screws. Um, we have... There we go. Yeah, we have the rods. Grab a couple of stacks of plates. And we need 200 cable. Plenty of stuff. And this will get uh, get us... Um, what is it? That we're, oh, part assembly. Right, okay. That's what we're doing. All right. There we go. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Okay, cool. Um, so what that opened up for us then is the, um, the assembler which can take two separate inputs. And we're gonna need to make, uh, well, we're gonna need to make all of this stuff, but we need to make smart plating in particular to launch up in the space elevator. All right, so the next thing I think that's gonna help us the most, I mean, we gotta do all of it eventually. Resource sync is gonna be super handy, but I think we should go for logistics mark two next. Uh, so let's select that as our main milestone, but we're not gonna worry too much about that until we get our factory floor uh, up and running. <clears throat> so, uh, lots to do. It's just a matter of trying to figure out where you know where to start. Um, to make concrete foundations, uh, we're going to need lots of plates and lots of concrete. And I typically just use the <coughs> excuse me the one meter foundations because they're cheaper than the you know than the th well are they? No, they're not cheaper. Okay, never mind. 
Um, it's still, I still like these thinner ones though, just because if we need to cut through them and run some conveyor lines underneath them or something like that, it's just easier to, to do that than with the thickers. Um, so yeah, th I still think we're going to go with one meter uh, foundations. All right, so let's go grab a whole mess of plates. grab like I don't know four stacks of these okay and we'll grab a whole mess of concrete right now I've just been feeding um, grass and wood you know as I come across it into here to make biomass and then we're gonna take all this biomass here throw it back in here and turn this to make biofuel as soon as this is is finished so that's kind of what's going on with the power but that's all uh, temporary anyways because all this is going to get moved and resituated and made nice and neat all right so let's see i think why don't we just start the edge of well we got this iron thing here which we might want to tap into at some point so let's go a little further this direction and we want to pretty much be facing south and we also also want to be up high enough above any obstructions that might be in the way at least we're probably going to need to build that way too we could we could maybe just kind of come up to here I mean, you know, I if we had to, we could, I can cut those trees down. I don't want to cut too many trees down because they don't grow back in this game. Um, and the other thing too is I want to make sure that we're on the cardinal directions. Um, okay, so why don't we use this cactus here as kind of our as our high spot? All right, and also I want, let's see, if we go to, let's use uh, toolbar two as our, our building toolbar. Uh, so we're gonna go here and we wanna put, uh, we'll put the one meter foundations in one, and we're gonna wanna use the ramps two, so well, let's wait wait until we get to that point, I suppose. Storage container, personal box. Okay, we have the lookout tower now, too, so that's cool. All right, so here's what we're going to have to do then. Um, we actually do want to start, I think, with the big foundation. So, yeah, let's, let's make... The two meter there and the, the four meter there. And if we hold control down, it snaps to the global grid, which we definitely want to do. Um, right. Okay. So let's get this a little closer to the cactus. I mean, we can even... We can even build it over the cactus for now. Uh, yep. Okay, so that's probably high enough to clear anything in this vicinity. And you know, if we if we do come across something that gets in the way, man, I hate that that LOD issue that they have. Ugh, it's frustrating. Um, you know, if we have to, we can cut the tree down or maybe even work around it. So, okay. So now these are on the cardinal direction. Um, what I think I want to do now is... Just sort of 
sort of kind of making this up as I go, you know? Um, why don't we get the these out? And we're going to put them up there. And I want to go into... How do I change build mode? Uh, zoop mode. And I'm going to actually zoop these over to there. Okay. Now... Let's, if we zoop from here to here, we just barely go over the, oh, there's some, there's some uh, sulfur. Let's grab that. Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Yeah, it looks like that's clearing that rock, so I think we're good. I mean, can't really tell till we get, actually get up there. Uh, one thing we could do is... Just set this down really quick. Okay, it is, it is clipping into it a little bit, but... Not necessarily worried about that, or what we could do is just come in one. Yeah, why don't we do it that way instead? We'll just come in one, and then we'll... Um, let's see, there's supposed to be a way I can chain dismantle. Dismantle, hold left mount button. Mass dismantle, hold left control. There we go. All that, all that stuff will come back to me. Yeah, uh, that'll work. Okay, we'll go with that. Now, um, let's grab the three meter foundations and let's go into vertical mode. And we want to... No, I don't want to do that because I want to do it from the top down, not the bottom up, or it might stick you know, stick out. There we go. Now, later on, um, I believe through... I believe through the... Uh, hey, bacon mushroom. The store will be able to get actual concrete pillars for stuff like this. And by the way, this game does not have SI. I don't have to do this. I just like to because... You know, I just don't like stuff floating. I like I like to have it to have some so excuse me, some support. Okay. Let's grab you. So we'll just, you know, these will basically be our pillars for now. Alright, now let's go let's go ahead and zoop. Change back to zoop mode. Down to here. And what if we zoop again down to here? Yeah, I think I think I like that. Change to vertical build. And bring that down there. What I should have done, though, is I should have um, counted those out. Of course, we removed one from that side. So this is actually only nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then so if we, why don't we do this? Put those there. Take those out. All right, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, ten if you count that one. 
right? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Or nine in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that, well, yeah, that makes sense because here again we have to take one of those off. So let's just let's just do this then. I mean, we I guess we could still have have the overhang on there too, but I'm not too worried about that. Light on. Okay, so now um, I think what we'll do next is this kind of west end of our factory will probably be a smaller section in, pr in it. I think that's probably what, where we'll set up our, our biofuel production so if we zoop um oh no we gotta go to zoop mode we go there and then turn and face east yeah we'll, we should clear the cliff Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay. Like, like I said, I want to be kind of judicious about cutting trees down in in this immediate vicinity because they won't grow back. Oh, right, though. We wanted to leave room for this. Um... That should be a total of 11 if we count this one, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, no, it, it is only 10. Okay. It's kind of good to know that, just, you know, for figuring out dimensions. All right, we're going to we're gonna do this in... Um, if we have trouble putting a miner here, we can... You know, maybe carve out a little bit of space there to make it work. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so let's um keep souping on down that way. That'll be the start of our factory floor. And then we have lots and lots and lots of room to expand this way if we need to later. Because all of that stuff, except for the actual miners, we're going to pull out of there anyway. All right, so I'm going to get I'm going to get the the pillar set up and then we'll start filling in the the flooring. What's the command for setting down like a whole plane? Um, rotate hologram, snap to uh, hold left control, lock hologram, quick switch, build menu, close, hide HUD. I thought we could. I thought we could put like a whole plane down in this game. Maybe I'm thinking of Imperion or. I know you can in Imperion. Hmm. Okay, let me let's look in here. I thought, I thought we could actually do that. Let's go controls. Key bindings build. T 
toggle primary sample mass dismantle customize snap to guidelines nudge forward to save oh yeah it doesn't seem to indicate um being able to lay down a plane so I guess I guess you can't do that in this game all right um early versions of the game I think I think actually Zoop started with update 5, but don't quote me on that. All I know is when I very first started playing the game, which was right at the tail end of 3 and then into 4, uh, we didn't have Zoop at that point. Is, uh... Yeah, if we go to normal, we can only do one at a time, right? Even if we... Whoops, no, I don't want to do that. So if we hold down control here. Yep, yeah, no. Doesn't look like you can do it. Alright, if you guys know of a way to lay a plane down, definitely let me know. Uh, but it's not obvious to me. I didn't see anything in the menu or anything on my, you know, the tooltips on my screen at the moment. Alright, we ran out of fuel. Let's go deal with that. Um, we're going to change this to biofuel. We're going to grab all of this out of here except for the grass. Is there a way to grab all of the same type? I don't know. And we're going to put it all in here except for... Um, we'll keep, what do we got? We got four things. Yeah, we got four thingies. And, well, you guys are still, okay, you guys still have fuel. So let's just, um, put you in here and you in here. Okay. And this will start, uh, make it solid solid for us. There it comes. And then once, you know, once we get a big batch of that, then we'll we'll just switch everything over to solid fuel. Oh, we're out of concrete. Okay, let's go get some more of that. Okay, these two trees here are going to have to go. This should be fine. That gets our floor taken care of. Now what we want is... Um, can we do ladders yet? Well, we're going to build a ramp anyways. We have walls, but I don't think we have ladders. Yeah, so we're gonna do, we'll do a ramp system. Um... And I think we can invert these, too, if I recall correctly. But let's go with the four-meter ramp. But what I'm going to do is put U on four, U on five, U on six. And the very center of our factory is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's right there. So why don't we build a ramp... Ooh, right. I forgot about that. This isn't going to... Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Unless we... Okay, I think what we're going to have to do to make this work is... Let's go vertical build. And I'm just going to put... Those there. And now what we want to do is we want to put uh, 
one of you there and one of you there. And then I think if we... No. I think what we can do now is we can put an inverted ramp here. Okay, how do I invert this? Lock, toggle, sample, quick switch. Is that what E is? Quick switch? No, no, that's what... Okay, toggle, build mode, lock, snap, rotate. Hmm. I thought there was a way we could invert these. How do I do that? Uh, do I have to be in normal? I am in normal build mode. Okay. Rotate hall. Oh, okay. Scroll up, scroll down. No, that's just that rotation. Hmm. I know there's a way to do this because I remember doing it in update five. I just don't remember how to do it. Quick switch sample sample building. What's that mean? What that? I don't know what that just did. Sample building. It it switched me to number three. That switched me to number four. Oh, right. Yeah, never mind. That's the copy thing. I mean, I, I know how to do that with the machines, but I guess it works with these too. Okay, well, the only way I can think of how to do this for now is is to, um, here, let's go into vertical build. It's just to kind of do it this way. Um, but man, I could have sworn we were able to invert these. Is, if we put that up there, does, is it, do we have to be above it? Is that what the deal is? Here, let's um let's put you down. Alright, so let's go back to here. Currently building the default. Left, hold, rotate, scroll up, scroll down, lock hologram. Toggle build modes, quick switch, build. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see anything down there for inverting. Oh, it's okay. So, yeah, it's a double ramp. That's what it is. Ah, okay. So, it is it is a separate block. And I am probably got that out of the awesome shop. Maybe? Uh, where the hell am I at? I am. Yeah. That's probably where I got it. Unless it unlocked with something else. I don't know. Purchases. Awesome shop. Foundations. Yep. We bought it from the awesome shop. Okay. Now now I know because I, I, I knew I could, you know, I would have sworn that I did that, but I just couldn't figure it out. And it's because you have to buy special blocks. Okay. Now we know. Now we know. All right, let's get back back at it. So we're not going to be able to do that now, of course, but we'll be able to do it later when we can afford the, you know, when we get the shop going, which of course we will definitely be doing, uh, but we can't do that right now. So we'll have to stick just with, um, you know, with what we got going on here. Whoa, I missed. Ouch. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we got our ramp. Excellent. Our very first factory floor. Look at us and our bad organized self. This is awesome. Later on, we'll be able to, you know, get rails from the awesome shop to put on, on here and stuff. Uh, but this is a start. This is a start. Okay, so the first, the next thing we're going to do is... Um, so I, I think that our... Yeah, all of our, uh, what are those called? Miners are kind of past that point there. 
So we'll probably say that we can expand, you know, this this will be the furthest west we'll go. And we can expand that way, or we might even, you know, do it from this one. But we don't need to do that right now. We have enough to get started. So what I want to do is I want to set up a, a biomass power setup, um, which really consists of two things. It consists of biomass production and the actual, you know, biomass burners themselves. And an, a, and since we have limited space, you know, north and south space anyways, uh, over here, this I think would be a good place to, to get that going. Um, all right, so let's do this. I'm going to grab, uh, oh yeah, let's go back to our number one toolbar. Okay. And there. Okay. So we're going to put a storage container. Let, let's see. That's our, our ramp there. And we said this is where we would. We'll say this is where we'll expand out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put, we're gonna move this over here. See how, how it, everything snaps nice and neatly? Uh, that's why it's so awesome to use foundations. Um, I'm gonna pull this to here. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we're going to also put another one lined up right with it. And I think I'm going to pull it this way a little bit, though. So we have a little bit of space in between. Well, no, I want to... This one's centered, so I want this one to be centered, too. think that's the right I think that's the right alignment no it was the right alignment okay I gotta trust the gotta trust the control key man hold down control watch for the green line yeah nice okay so this is gonna be an input for wood this is gonna be an input for leaves So whenever we go out and grab those things, um, that's what they're going to do. Now, I might... No, never mind. Scratch that thought. Forget I said anything. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to grab a constructor, except for that we need plates. Okay. Okay. I want to keep everything that we currently have out here going until, at least until we get the, the biomass plant set up before I start pulling stuff down because, you know, it's still making things that we need. Well, uh, what do we need, by the way? We, here, let's sort this. Uh, we've got quite a bit of plates. We've got a decent amount of screws, but let's grab a few more, uh, a couple more piles of screws. And we need to make... We need to make six six reinforced plates. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to grab a constructor. And we want to line it up with you. And let's pull it back to there. And we'll put another one. Um, uh, there, right? Okay, yeah, those are lined up. Now, they are a little bit close to each other, and these things will kind of clip in into each other, but um, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. 
That stuff can kind of bug me a little bit, but we're going to let it go. That's not lined up. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to work. All right, why don't we... I'm trying to think. If I pull this over this way... If I need to... If I'm going to need to go around this way. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Let's take all of those things down. I'm going to move this to the edge of the foundation. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Let's actually move this in in one. Okay, that's gonna give give them a little more clearance. Okay, let's grab a constructor. pull it back to here. This is better anyways, because now these things aren't going to be clipping into each other. And now this should be, these should be lined up with each other. Nice little straight conveyor line in there. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to set you to make biomass from leaves. And you to make biomass, whoops, sorry, from wood. Perfect. So wood bin, leaves bin. Look what I did. Shame on me. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a merger. Uh, organization, no, logistics. Conveyor merger. Okay, we want the input to be... Or no, we want the output to be on this side. Okay, let's put you... Um, Let's try right there, see if that's good enough. Actually, we can move that back a little bit. Got it right there. Let's move it back to say there. Okay. And then for this guy, we're gonna come out to here. Now when that when that lines up on the 90 degree with the merger, what we're going what we're going to do is we're going to go back two ticks, one, two, and put that there, and then it should make a perfect ninety degree. Yep, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab another constructor, except for I'm missing cable. So let me go get some cable. This is going to hurt. Nope, never mind. I don't know what you guys were worried about. And I think we just ran out of power. So let's grab... Nope. The reason I do that, in case you're wondering, is because I play a lot of Planet Crafter. And in Planet Crafter, you use the mouse to open stuff up. So that's why I'm just so damn used to doing that. Okay. 
Let's take and split you. And we'll put you in there. And you in there. Okay. We won't be using these these little guys here after we get this set up. Okay, back up to here. Okay, let's flip you this way. I'm going to pull you maybe out to here. No, you can actually be you can actually be closer than that. Do this from the side if we hold control because it'll line it up for us. Excellent. And then, of course, we're going to set this guy to make biofuel. All right, nice. And then, what we're going to do is. I think f for now. What's the output of this? Okay, that's going to output 60 per minute. It can take in 120 per minute. So if we did that, we would need to upgrade these to Mark II belts, which we will as soon as we research that. 60. Wait. Oh, wow. Those are different. Those are different um, ratios. I didn't realize that. So with leaves, it takes in 60 per minute? Or no, hold input, sorry. Okay, it takes in 120 per minute. But with wood, it takes in 60 per minute. Okay, so to get full efficiency on the input, um, we don't. this belt will work because this is a 60 per minute belt. But to get full efficiency on this input, we would want to upgrade this to a tier two belt, or, or a Mark II belt, rather. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but, you know, we want to be... I, I'm not going to be 110% anal about maximum efficiency. I want to pay attention to it, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm not... It, everything doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, that, damn it, these guys aren't lined up. <sighs> uh, everything doesn't have to be perfect, though. You know, we, we're going to get it close. We're going to do a good job, but we're not going to be completely anal retentive about it either. Okay, so let's uh, take you down. Okay, try this again. And I want... That should be lined up. There we go. Nope. Man, sometimes the angles... It looks like everything is exactly the way you want it, and it's not. Okay, that's lined up. I was missing my green line, but I didn't also need, I need to also poke my head over here and make sure that it's lined up to this one, which it which now it is. Okay. That's why that green line is like so incredibly useful for this kind of thing. There we go. Okay. Now we got to set you back to what were uh this was leaves, right? Yeah. So your biomass leaves. Okay, back to this. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to set down a container here and we wanna flip it around this way. Um. like that and then when this eventually fills up if we're still even using it by then and not on the coal what we can do is we can stack them um, like so and the game will automatically just flip-flop them for you because then what you can do is you can take and put a conveyor lift and do that. 
and then then it'll just you know it'll it'll fill up like in a little zigzag faction as high up as you want to go with it um but here again uh, that's only if we if we get that far with it so i can add that later okay that should be a nice oh no it isn't That's because this guy is sticking out just a little bit further. But when we do get to the point where we put this on. Yeah, see, we don't we don't want this to come any further that direction. All right, so here's how we're going to fix this issue then. I do like my curves to be nice. We're going to do this. We're going to go to here. Uh, oh, man, the damn thing wants to snap. Can, uh, is there a disable snap option? Build. Snap the guidelines. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go back two clicks. And put it in. There. Now we got a nice little 90 degree curve there. Excellent. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is this is what's going to produce our biofuel. But now we need to put biofuel generators down. And I think what we'll do is we'll run those along this outer edge here. So let's grab our first one. And I don't want to put it all the way out on the edge. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, um, can I grab that from here? Huzzah. Look at that. And it wants to line up with that. Let's just put that there for a second. Yeah, see, technically, we should turn this around because it's... It should be the other way. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, shit. I'm missing wire. All right. Here. Well, let's just do this then. Pick this up. Biomass burner. Flip it this way. That's what we want to do. And then if we just line that up there. I mean, it is all the way out to the edge but the thing is is i like i like to have you know a little bit of a, a border around the perimeter for moving around and stuff so if we're going to do that we might need to add another row and we can do that we can have some overhang that's not a big deal um so let's do that Did we get all the way down? Yeah, we did. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do instead then is I'm going to put this... I'm going to center it on this intersection here. So again, like I said, we'll have some room. That looks like it's centered. Yeah, I, I think that's good. We could use this little point here to line up on this seam, even though it's still an inch or so off to the left, but that's close enough. Very good. All right, now. Um, how much... What, what is your output again? I think it's 30, isn't it? Yeah, 30 megawatts. You need... 
four, and we've got three of those, so that's twelve. Yeah, so one of these should be enough to get these guys going in terms of power. So, what we're going to do with that is we're going to... Um, I'm going to put a power pull... Where's your power connection? It's over there. Okay. So let's put a power pole right here. And that's, is that, that's, no, let's move it over a little bit because I want to, I want to line it up right with that insulator there. Yeah, that's right over the seam. And I think that's a nice straight line. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Now, let's also... Grab you. And we'll bring you down to... there and bring it just a little past so that what we can do is go from here to here and from here to there because if we lined it up perfectly with this then of course that cable would be glitching into this one which we don't want that's pretty nice and neat i'd say um, do I have any biofuel on me? I don't. Okay. Let's go grab some. That hurt. Okay. Let's open it up. Put some biofuel in. And did I... Uh... Oh, we never wired this one. Duh. <laughs> okay. We are ready to start production. The only thing that's missing is leaves and wood. Because everything's yellow, which means it's powered and ready to go. It just doesn't have any material. Do I have any leaves on me? I do. Let's throw some leaves in there. Okay. And we'll throw some wood in here. And you guys should start making biomass. Now, your output is 300 per minute. And your output is 60 per minute. Really? Wow. I guess it's just because it's making that of wood, so it's it's making a hell of a lot more of it. Um, so there's no way this belt is going to be able to keep up with this machine. Um, a 300 per minute belt is, Jesus, that's Mark V? <laughs> I don't even know. So that's just not going to happen. Now, one thing we could do is we could underclock this. Um, well, I don't think we can yet. I think we have to... we got to unlock something else to make that work. Maybe... I, oh, yeah. I think we have to research the slugs. So we could underclock this to match the belt. The reason we would do that is because it'll save power. Um, you know, if we if we downclock it to match the belt. It just makes the, makes the machine 100% efficient. Um, you... You know, you're outputting 60 per minute, so you're perfect. Um... But this belt is not, so this belt would need to be a Mark II at 120 per minute to match the input, and then it's, it'll output 60 per minute, which is perf perfect for this belt. But again, you know, um, we're not too worried about that right now, because because we're just kind of start getting started here. We can kind of fine tune some of that stuff later. Very nice. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to. Um, start setting up more of these. So what I'll probably do with these, I'll probably 
set up, you know, a, like a row of them going down this way. And we'll probably start with a single row. And then as we, you know, grow the factory and our power needs increase, then we'll just continue adding these. And these will be our main source of power until we get to coal power. And then that's going to be a complete game changer. Um, and it's also when we're going to go ahead and move down south and set up a really nice base on the water along the western shore uh, at that at that point. Let's go get that slug. Hi, slug. Nice. Um, okay, so what's coming up in the next episode then is... Um, I'll work on, you know, getting the rest of these bio uh, biomass burners set up and go out and get a metric butt ton of wood and leaves. And that's going to definitely be an off-camera thing. Um, and then we will begin moving all of our stuff except for our miners that we have over here onto our factory floor. And that, you know, that's probably going to take us maybe two or three episodes to get it all set up. Maybe not, though. We'll see. We might be able to knock it out in one to two episodes. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we made good progress here, too. Uh, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.